Good afternoon and welcome back on the video lecture series at Baisak. Uh, here we are again going to discuss the next topic on basics of engineering subject. Uh, last time we have discussed about the projection of planes of various shapes like uh, square, rectangle, pentagonal, hexagonal and circles. Uh, last time we discussed the various projection of planes. Planes has thickness, we do not consider the thickness of the planes, uh, we just consider the length and breadth or say height. So uh, considering the thickness as 0, we are drawing uh, front view and top view. So this, with these two views, uh, we are projecting the various shapes and we are getting the projections of that planes. Uh, in continuing uh, the last session, we are going to discuss further more shapes of the various project projections. Uh, for example, rectangle, uh, hexagonal, pentagonal and rhombus of. So let us start few more uh, problems in the projection of planes and today in the later session we will discuss about the orthographic projections. So what is orthographic and what is projection? You might have the ideas about the projection of points and lines but in continuation with that uh, we are going to discuss orthographic projections today. In the later session we will see what is the history and what is the basic theory behind the orthographic projections. So let us see and uh, first discuss the, some of the examples of projection of planes. So let us move further uh, one more problem. A circular plate of a rectangle of a negligible uh, thickness, let us say 50 mm diameter, appears on an ellipse in the front view, having the major axis 50 mm and the minor axis 30 mm long. So draw the top view when the major axis a of the ellipse is horizontal. So in this problem, uh, we are given the two dimensions, the major axis and minor axis and we are also given the condition of the uh, circle which is ellipse. So circle becomes ellipse and one more condition is given that the major axis of that ellipse remains horizontal. So with this condition, let us see uh, what is our situation in the problem. So circle can be seen as an ellipse in front view only when its ellipse which its surface is inclined to VP. So the surface will be shown in vertical plane inclined so that the first view will be parallel to VP. So let us draw first our reference line X and Y. So here we need to draw the circle A above xy line. So that is our front view. Let us draw a circle and divide them into 12 equal parts and give the names in front view 1 dash 2 dash as we giving uh, the line the 12 parts. After that by drawing the projection on the top view. So here the condition is circle remains uh, parallel to the vertical plane. That means the top view will be only a line. So this is our first step. We are drawing the circle in a full length in the front view. So that is our 50 mm diameter. So now in the second step the circle becomes ellipse. So what will be the uh, next steps? Let us first give the dimension of the top view in the first step from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 12 by drawing the projection from the front view of the first step. So let us start with the second step. So in second step the inclined top view uh, the distance is given 30 mm. So we do not have the angle we have only inclination as a 30 mm. So this line is becomes 30 mm. So with the help of 
projection of line we are going to draw this line so that the end projector becomes 30 mm so let us produce the line of which the end projector distance becomes 30 mm as we can see let us give the same name as we know from 1 to 12 and draw the projection one by one from the respective points and by joining the projection from the first step front view we are obtaining the intersected points like this way and by joining them that points we got the elliptical shape so this is our ellipse shape produced from the circle and of which the first condition is satisfied that end projector is 30 mm so the minor axis distance is 30 mm so here our two steps are complete and let us move further to the final step by considering the inclination to the first view front view is still major axis which is becomes horizontal so in our last step we are drawing the we are producing the same shape but our condition is the major axis of the ellipse will remain horizontal so horizontal means parallel to this xy line so let us reproduce this shape but horizontal so let us draw this shape 90 degree rotating view and by giving the same name as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash up to 12 1 dash now by drawing the projection from the front view from respective points we are drawing the final view that is our top view and by the joining the intersection intersection points let us finish the final top view which is having the both condition the minor axis 30 mm and major axis 50 mm hence this final steps by completing the points like 1 1 2 1 dash and this in this way we are completing the circle let us take the another problem in this problem the given is a rectangle of 30 mm and 50 mm side is resting on horizontal plane on one small side which is 30 degree inclined to VP while the surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with HP draw its projection so in this simple problem let us find out what is the data given so from this problem we are extracting this information as we have seen last time first we considered that the surface is inclined to which plane that is given as horizontal plane so second is assumption for the initial position what is the assumption we have to take that the first step will be parallel to HP and the next third one so which view will be the showing true shape so when something when any plane is parallel to HP the true shape is always visible in top view and the fourth step which side will be vertical and here it is given as the small size the small size of the rectangle will be vertical to the HP hence we have to begin with top view so draw rectangle below XY line so let us draw the reference line and draw the rectangle 
below the xy line hence it is top view let us give the names a b c and d so by drawing the projection we are obtaining a horizontal line which will be the front view so the surface is parallel to hp so our first condition is true so we obtained the front view by giving the a dash b dash c dash and d dash so let us begin with this for, for, from the first step let us begin the second step will be the inclined line to hp and it is given 45 degree that means we have to draw the plane the front view 45 degree inclined and by producing the same length we are drawing the projection and hence our true shape will be inclined in the second step here is our rectangle plane but 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so as we know the second step is always the inclination with the horizontal plane our true shape will be changed to the reduced size of the shape of rectangle so the in the last step we have to draw the second condition 30 degree to the inclination with the vertical plane so we have to produce the same shape same top view from the second step 30 degree inclined to the vertical plane and hence we have to draw first 30 degree line and we need to produce the same shape same dimensions 30 degree inclined to the vertical plane and finally by giving the name and drawing the projection from the respective points we need to draw the inclined shaped or inclined front view of the third step so let us give the name as a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash and by joining them we can obtain the final shape of that rectangle so our final shape is inclined to both plane from 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane and 30 degree inclined to the vertical plane so hence we can complete the projection of plane in this way let us take problem next problem which is given as a 30 60 set square we are using 30 degree 60 degree set square to draw 30 degree and 60 degree projections so we are aware of this shape the longest size is 100 mm long in vp and 30 degree inclined to horizontal plane while its surface is 45 degree inclined to vertical plane draw its projection surface and side inclination are directly given so here we have specified conditions uh, our longest size is 30 degree and it is in the vp 30 degree inclined to the hp and its surface is 45 degree inclined to the vp so what data we can conclude from the given uh, problem let us see the first one is surface is inclined to which plane it is given as vp so here this time inclination is given with the reference to vertical plane so assumption for the initial position will be parallel to the vertical plane so we are drawing the assumption in parallel to the vertical plane it means we are drawing the shape first into the horizontal plane so which will which view will show the true shape that will be our front view that will be above x y line so we have to start drawing this problem by drawing the shape above x y line and that will be our front view and which side will be vertical it is given as a specified size that is longest size 
so largest side of the 3060 set square it is given as a reference so let us begin with front view draw a triangle above xy line by keeping the longest side vertical so let us draw first xy line so draw the 3060 triangle by keeping the longest side vertical so our first condition is satisfied so let us give the name a dash b dash and c dash and by drawing the projection from them we get the top view surface is parallel to the vertical plane so here we get top view so let us give the name a b on the same point and c so our first step is complete let us draw the inclined surface to the vertical plane in the second step so the parallel line becomes inclined which is given 45 degree in the second step so we are drawing first 45 degree inclined plane so let us produce the same line 45 degree to the xy line but in top view and draw the projection from the same point so by joining this projection from the first step we are getting the 3060 set square in the inclined to the xy reference and by giving the name a1 dash b1 dash and c1 dash we are completing the second step so our first condition is satisfied let us move to the final step which is 30 degree to the xy line so the next is given 30 degree to the vp 45 degree to the vp and 30 degree to the hp so next step is 30 degree to hp so we are producing the same front view 30 degree inclined in the final step so in the final step let us produce the same 